What says it lads? My name is Minimax and welcome to Rogue Company. Now, this game came out I think two weeks ago. It's free to play, it's cross platform, it, this is not a sponsored video. Um, but I, I've been playing it recently. It's kind of like Valorant, but in a third person view. Because, like, I mean, it's kind of like Valorant. I mean, it's, a th it's, 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 it's third person. Um, so, you know, the crosshairs are pretty similar and the way the game plays is pretty similar. But obviously, like, it's not exactly like Valorant because the powers and Valorant and that kind of thing. But there are powers. I know my explanation is completely doo-doo because it probably doesn't make that much sense. But it is a really fun game and not that many people are playing it. I mean, it's crazy because it's actually not a bad game. I mean, it's much better with friends and unfortunately I have no friends so we can't play with friends. But it is a really good game, and I really, really wanted to play this on the channel, so let's get into this. I also want to give a massive, massive thank you to you guys for the support on my last video, because my last video, currently, as of recording this, is on 60 views, which is pretty mad for me, so... And it's got, like, over 100 minutes of watch time, which is absolutely insane. So, thank you guys so much for that. Um... But yeah, anyways, we move on. I haven't played this map before, so I have no idea. They they updated the game a couple weeks ago, and I have no idea uh, what this map is about, where the, you know, what things are. Oh shit, that was a bad idea. thing is, playing solo, right, as well, like, look at my teammate. I mean, he's just AFK. thing is with, like, when you're playing single player, like, no one, like, it's much better with friends, because single player, you get bad players, or people just go AFK all of a sudden, so. Damn, boy, he's sick! Yeah. Luckily, this game is cross-platform on PS4, Xbox, and PC, so... And it's free to play as well, so you won't have any issues um, in finding, you know, friends to play with. The thing I like about this game as well is it's not like people start off with, like, really OP weapons, you know? Because you start off the game and you have these kind of, these things, you get cash per, like, you get a, you kill someone, you get cash. You down someone, you get cash. You revive someone, for instance, I'm the medic, you get cash. So... Like, it's all, um, it's all balanced as well, which is nice. Um, obviously there's some things that they really can change as well. Um, like, footsteps are insanely loud. I mean, I'm not complaining, because, like, from my perspective, if someone's running around, I can hear them perfectly. I mean, I'm sure everyone else on the footprint map can hear them. But, um... But they do need to fix the footsteps, Found nonetheless. Oh, should I hear someone? See? Did you hear that? So loud. Go here. No, they're going B, they're going B. Go here. Nice thing as well is each team like has like a trail. We have like a red smoke trail. And so we can actually see where the people go. Nice thing, of fe nice feature about this as well is it works similar to Rainbow. You can switch sides, which is really handy as well because more games need to do shit like this because it just makes life easier, makes makes the game more fun. This is probably, in my opinion, the best gun in the game because all the other ones work three at third person. See, that's third person. This is first person. And it helps a lot being first person. Because you get your accuracy is a lot better, but Saints is the only like rogue that actually has first person. All the others are third person. Well, I mean, I suppose for Phantom, who's a sniper, so that also makes sense. But uh, all the others are, uh, all the others are, you know, third person. And I am going to get Saint. I mean, uh, Phantom. When I have enough money, who's a sniper? So hopefully I can. If this video does well enough, I will do a video on that. 
Okay. Okay, yeah. See, because now they need a, a, they need someone on their team as well now. Because now it's a, they're definitely going to be. Because now it's a 2v3. So they should maybe implement a bot to come in as well and play. Um, like in Rocket League, there's a bot. If you, if you leave, there's a bot that comes in, which would be... Really good to have. Okay, now they're jumping very late. I don't know where they're going. None of them have jumped it. Wait, can I? No way. No way. I can actually shoot them out of their plane. I can shoot them while they're coming. Wait. Oh wait, what? Their plane. They've glitched. They're in the plane, but. It's closed its hatch. What the hell? Yo, that's mad. What? And the plane just disappeared. Wait, what? Now I'm so confused. Like, they were still stuck in the plane. What? Yo, that was weird. I think <laughs> I headshot someone from the plane. What? And then I got kicked. Yo, what the hell was that game? I hope I get some revenue from that thing though. Yeah, I got some, but like, what the flip was that? Now, there are a variety of games for each game mode. There's three game modes. There's Demolition, which we're playing in this episode. There's Strike Out, which is more like a TDM Team Deathmatch uh, kind of vibe. Which is good because you respawn. Um, but off. each team has a certain amount of respawns, which is nice. So that the game doesn't get too clustered and just too repetitive, you know? So, um, and then there's Extraction, which I believe is like, you have to, you have to hack a system or something like that. I don't know, I don't play that game mode very often because I don't really like it. As I was saying, each map, right? There's, for each game mode, there's different maps. Um, switch, so, you know, I think most of them kind of overlap each other in terms of like how they play, but some of them are kind of specific to each game mode, which is nice. Um, because it shows that there's like a difference and it's just not the game, the devs being lazy, you know? Um, <coughs> which is nice, yeah. And which is also nice is because the games aren't really set up to hold campers. Like, yeah, you gotta play strategically, but there's no like solid camping spots. Like, yeah, people do try and sneak their way and play like Call of Duty players, but it's not that bad as what it you what I thought it would be for a free-to-play game. Okay, I'm Enemies gonna try and Stop flank. Them. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think we can salvage anything from this map. See, because I think what players don't realize is you can just look at the smoke there and you know where they're going. And they're definitely going A. Go here. No, I have no idea. They spit. But now you see everyone goes B. You see, that's what I. Don't, that's what I don't understand. Like. You have a pinging system to ping where enemies are, but then when you ping them, it's just like everyone just goes the opposite direction. It's like, well, what? What's the point then, you know? The bomb has been spotted. You okay? You okay? I don't have time to raise him like that. I mean, I could have pushed him, but I need someone with like an SMG or something to... Okay, I think that guy hard. Hang on a second, I want to try something out here quick. Nope. Nope. Oh, you can't shoot from the ship. It would have been so cool if I could shoot from the ship. 
across map. I mean, do you know how sick that would be? Okay, they're going A, they're going A. They... Oh my god, you see... Like... You see, they all go B and then they can't B. It's, they're right there here at A. I just wish my team would look at the red smoke, see where they're going, right? And they're going A. So go A. But no, they don't go A, they all go B. I mean... <laughs> you know? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to kick that like button where the sun don't shine. And I'll see all you lovely ladies in the next video. Have a good one. Cheers.